Okay, and we are on the classic, the 5kg press up with the handles. And for some odd reason, we're aiming for 16 reps. I don't think I can do that. But we're going to try it. Placing the 5kg plate on the back, pretty central because it is going to dip down eventually. Hands on the handles and let's go for it. Okay, we got to the 16. Now we're going to start our 30 second rest. Can't wait for it. And 5kg plate off the back. So, next one up. What time I talk to myself with? Ooh, over to the original, but improved as of week 5 or week 4, I can't remember which one. The 15kg chest press. So we'll start that in a second now. Yeah. Now we'll do it facing your direction a bit. Okay. Hands on the handles. Aim for 30 reps. And down we go. out of the way a little bit just so we don't fall in them in the upcoming surprise next up same as last week we have got the lateral kettles because this underarm strap here is a myth okay So, right up from the top. Down those two go. Start the timer. Oh, and next time uh, comes the hard one. Okay. Uh. So, as I previously mentioned at the start of the video, uh, it was video which I did do some research on on developing the handstand and I now have quite a bit more understanding of how to work towards it so as it's week six and the goals for a handstand we're gonna try and do one so the main two tips which I found from this video extremely helpful was hand positioning 
which was not to have them even. When one's in front of the other, it stabilizes your balance further. And try and do a banana handstand first, which is when your legs are either side of your body, go in something like that from your body being here, and you basically just look like a banana peel, handing down like that. So, that's why I need to move stuff out of the way. So we're here for a few attempts at this here. Swap hands, swap feet. Okay, <coughs> and one more attempt from this side. So we're trying to get a max hold of one handstand. The leg isn't going to commit in all the way, and that's my issue here. If you can see, I need this leg to go further back. That'll do because I've had plenty of attempts in that one there. Next up, back to one of the originals with the ab wheel rollers. Uh, actually, I don't think it is an original, but it's old enough. Okay. And that is with that one after. So. So for the apple rollers, trying to keep our whole lower legs on the ground and we're not going all the way back in because who wants the rest? Okay. In for 16 reps. Same count as last week, but 16 takes long enough. attempt two reps of the full version as it is the final week. One. Two. Technically cheated there but it'll do. 30 second rest <laughs> and next up is I believe it's the V-sit Oh, we're doing an L sit now. No longer the V sit. Over to an L sit, handle, hold. Let's do this beside you, so I don't have to bottom on the mat. Ah, I need to do some water. Okay. And we want to hold this for 15 seconds. But I can't get my legs out like an L. <clears throat> Went for two, for two extra seconds, as we did technically mess up a little bit there. Straight on to the pipe push-up. second rest just before the final exercise of the original frog stance but I think when we first did it we aimed for 20 seconds I believe we're now doubling and we're going for 40 I believe it could be it could have been give or take five seconds from 20 in the first week we'll have some water first okay <coughs> mess up the frog stance we're just going to go do it with our hands because these handles like to be a nightmare 
after being over. So I find with the frog stance, the hardest thing is getting in a good position because my legs just slowly slip off my elbows and fall down to the ground. Okay, we've got to just 47 seconds, and just to try and finish things on a high, we'll give one attempt at no, that. Can't do it. <laughs> I was going to try and lift my legs up, but we'll have one last attempt at the handstand. And there we go. That is the end of the handstand series. Thank you very much. <laughs>